Hi, welcome to the Shelly Studio, and today I'm doing another quick birthday card. Um, the background was created with distressing, so it was actually just cleaning up stuff that was on my craft mat. And now I'm trying to smush up some craft paint that's gone a little solid, so I can do some pink drips as part of the background for this one. Um, I decided I wanted to do some torn paper flowers and just wanted something going on in the background so that's what I came up with <laughs> and this is just um, this is a jelly print that's in my hand there and I'm just gonna tear it into circles and those are gonna be our flowers and I had grabbed those two stamped images thinking I was gonna put them on as like the focal image or accents or whatever but I don't end up using them, I just end up doing a little flower scene. Sorry about the noise in the background. <laughs> it's always a little chaos going on at my house. Alright. So I'm just going to use some matte medium and glue those on. And I'm just about out of that. I need to go get me some more, I think. It's so expensive though, it's hard to... I've been using the Mod Podge for paper lately because it's a little less expensive. But I don't like the smell. It smells like Elmer's glue. And it doesn't... it's not quite as good as this. It still leaves a little bit of a gloss and a little bit of stickiness. And when you use the Liquitex Matte Medium, you don't get that. Um, it's very matte. You can't really tell anything's on there. It's not shiny at all. And um, it's not sticky. Can't get those dots to stay where I put them. Alright. So I dried that off. And now I'm just taking, this is a, let's see, I can't remember the name of this pen. I really like it. Um, it's a V5. Anybody remember what brand that is? <laughs> you can buy it at any store. And um, just doodling around on the flowers. wasn't sure what kind of leaf I wanted on my flowers, so I had to sit there and think about that for a minute. <laughs> so I'd make them the same as the little ones. This is a Sharpie. Um, this one's an oil base. I ran out of my water base one, so this one's an oil base. It's a little stinky. But it works really well. Of course, that's the first time using it, so um, we'll see how it works next time. And here I decided the black wasn't quite bold enough, so I'm doing it again. because I really want those flowers to stand out. Decided my flowers needed more of something, so we're going to doodle some more on them.
Alright. So I decided it still needed more, so I pulled out some washi tape. This is some washi tape I got in some Happy Mail from Cindy Utter, like, <laughs> I want to say two years ago. Yeah, I still got it. <laughs> it's precious. <laughs> but hey, at least I'm finally using it, right? Oh, and I uh, forgot that that pen was not permanent when dry. There we go. Okay. Fixed. <laughs> I decided. Still want more. So I got these cute paper butterflies on clearance at I think probably Michael's a while ago. So I've got a whole bag full of them. So might as well use them up. They're dimensional. I'm trying to push the bottom part down. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I don't know if you can hear my uh, nephew's little boy in the background. And thought I'd put some blue ink around the edges. And I feel like that's not quite enough, so I pull out the sponge and, well, clean up my desk. Pull out the sponge and ink it some more. When I'm doing this, I wish I had the round one, but I have two, two rectangles, so I can't bring myself to spend the money to buy all the stuff for round ones. <laughs> so I will just live with these until they break. Oh my goodness. Sorry about the noise. <laughs> Alright, so that was it. Really quick, I put it on a card base so that uh, it's a regular card and send it out. Yeah, you probably didn't need to see me attempt to clean that. Yeah, I do better later. <laughs> and here you have it. I hope you liked that. If you did like it, please hit like, feel free to share, comment, and if you'd like to see more from me, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.